Hey there, this is Cory with iMod.Systems. So today we have a copy of Hamtaro Ham Ham Heartbreak that's in for a modification. Oh, hey there Hamtaro, what's going on? Your memory's a little fuzzy. Well, your save battery's probably dead. Yeah, well some Game Boy Advance games actually use an SRAM for saves, which requires a save battery. Over time these batteries die. No worries, today we're actually going to replace your old SRAM with a FRAM chip. Yep, let's go over the tools needed for this modification. So the first tool that we're going to use for this modification is going to be our Miniware MHP30 hot plate. I'm going to have this set to approximately 220 degrees Celsius, and I'm just going to heat up the board just enough so that I can pull the old SRAM off. The next tool that we're going to use is going to be our Hakko soldering iron. We're going to need a set of ESD tweezers, and we're going to use flux. Let's get started. So before we can go ahead with removing this SRAM chip, we need to first remove this battery. So the way that I'm going to approach this is I'm going to flood in a little bit of fresh solder on this uh, positive battery tab right here. And I'm going to flood it in a little bit of fresh solder on the negative battery tab here. I'm going to heat the positive side and I'm going to gently lift up until it's free and clear of this pad. And then I'm going to do the same on the other side. So we're all set. So you might be asking why we had to connect this resistor over here. This is a 10K ohm resistor. And the reason why we needed to install this 
voiceover time. Originally when I recorded this part of the video, I explained the function of the resistor and I made a mistake. We need to connect a resistor to pin 20, chip enable, to the power pin of the FREM module, pin 28. The resistor acts as a pull-up resistor since the function of chip enable is actually inverted on the FRAM module. The signal on the chip enable needs to idle high so that it's disabled when it's not needed and goes low when it's enabled. Now, let's get back to the video. So let's get a save flash to it and then we're gonna test it out and make sure that it works. So I connected the game up to my computer and I flashed a save to the FRAM module that we just installed. So let's get it hooked up to the Game Boy and verify that we can see the save. And we're gonna to wanna to see a continue screen once this game loads. All right, there we go. And it looks like our FRAM mod was successful. So now we never have to worry about having a battery die on us. This FRAM mod will be able to hold on to uh, the save file for basically as long as a chip lives. So thank you very much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much. Have a great day.